Do you even HTPC, bro? Let's take a look at a brand new HTPC that just hit the market. What is up YouTube? It's Ubu the Tech Guru coming straight at ya. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing fan tiddlyastic. And first off, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. You know, I was debating about putting out a video today and uh, you know, I've already spent time with my family, had a great time, had a wonderful meal, you know, I'm stuffed and um, you know, I thought to myself, well, this information has been out there now for 2 days. I'm only hurting myself by not getting a video put out there. So here it is. I got huge, huge news, a brand new HTPC coming to the market, and it's called Vero. And it's using OSMC as its operating system. Now, those of you that are curious, uh, I am talking about a complete hardware and software HTPC solution. Um, to give you guys a little bit of backstory or history where Vero has evolved from, Vero has evolved from Rasp BMC as well as Crystal Buntu. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, Crystal Buntu um, allowed the original, original white, you know, big Apple TV to play back 1080p content. If you threw in, if you took out the Wi-Fi card and threw in a Broadcom uh, Crystal HD decoder, that allowed you to play 1080p uh, media from your local home network and, uh, or local drive, whatever. 1080p, you know, basically you could encode Blu-ray videos to, you know, using H.264, uh, encode them and be able to play back um, high quality 1080p media using the Apple TV, you know, so that's incredible in itself right there. But I mean, you know, the Apple TV is 10 years old now, I think. And the successor to that was the Raspberry Pi. Um, the developer, you know, created Rasp BMC, which is at its core, you know, it's, it's based on, uh, on Linux and it boots into basically, uh, XBMC. Um, but you know, Rasp BMC has some additional features on it besides just XBMC, like configuring Wi-Fi and other uh, options. You know that that make it a package. It's not just XBMC on Linux, um, or you know, on on whatever version it is for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm not completely familiar with the Rasp BMC project because I run uh, an Apple TV with Crystal Buntu 2.0. So, but basically the Vero has evolved from, or has been, is, you know, it's a successor to Rasp BMC as well as um, Crystal Buntu. Well, Vero is the hardware. Vero is the actual device. And um, you can see, uh, you know, it's going to be OSMC's flagship device. Before I get into the hardware, Let's talk a little bit about what um, OSMC is. Now, OSMC is the operating system that will be running on Vero. And um, again, as I stated earlier, you know, OSMC is the successor of Rasp BMC. Currently, Rasp BMC has 3 million downloads and over 200,000 regular users. The community is a uh, great community. They have uh, great forums over there. Uh, I'm familiar with the Crystal Buntu forums. I'm a moderator over there. And, um, you know, you ever, if you ever have an issue with your, with me in, in particular, the Apple TV and Crystal Buntu, you know, you get on the forums and you ask for help or whatever, and people are always friendly and helping and helpful. And the community is just, is really responsive and very active. Um, so, you know, OSMC is basically at its core uh, using the Linux kernel and it will um, boot into, you know, it'll basically have uh, XBMC with additional features like a web browser. 
will also have an app store right in it. Um, you know, that's something completely out there, far out there that I don't believe any other repackaged XBMC is doing. I don't think OpenELEX doing that. I mean, I, I could be wrong, you know, don't quote me on that, but an app store, really? I mean, that's awesome. A web browser, that's awesome. Um, so, you know, that's the operating system is OSMC, and uh, it's based on, you know, the Linux kernel. And <clears throat> you can see here, there's a little screenshot of OSMC. You know, it's got that kind of XBMC type feel to it. Um, but obviously, you know, he's redone the whole UI, the way it looks and the way it, you know, functions. Um, so that's basically OSMC. Now let's get into Vero, the actual hardware itself. Um, as I said, you know, it's the flagship device for OSMC. So basically, if your OSMC will be available for tons and tons of different platforms, 20, I believe, or more meaning Android, uh, I mean, you know, ARM chips, um, x86, 64-bit, 32-bit. I mean, it's going to be available, OSMC will be available with an installer to be able to put it, you know, put it on a USB stick, boot your device to the USB stick, and install OSMC on your device. But the flagship, you know, hardware for OSMC will be Vero, and that's what we're looking at here. Now, what can Vero do? I mean, the thing that makes it stand out apart from everything else, right away you see that it has 24 hertz support. Currently the Apple TV or the Amazon Fire TV doesn't have that ability. Uh, it's got true HD audio out, uh, and then like I mentioned already, it's got the App Store and the web browser. You know, the other thing that sets it apart is it comes with its own remote, its own uh, controller. Now some people are obviously going to put down in the comments, oh you don't need a controller, I have my Android device or my iPhone and I just install XBMC controller on it and I can control it that way. Well, no, you know, there's no extra futzing around. It's 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 just going to work. It comes with the remote already. <laughs> so that's the advantage of Vero. Um, it's got, you know, an ARM uh, V7 A9 Cortex chip in it, a gigahertz dual core. It's got a gig of DDR3 RAM. It's got gigabit Ethernet. Uh, integrated Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, which is setting it apart from other devices out there, integrated IR receiver, there's the uh, HD audio out, the optical S or uh, SPDIF output, two powered USB ports, the HDMI 1.4 with CEC support, so your TV remote will actually be able to control the Vero, and then, like I said, it's got true HD 24 hertz output, um, 3D ready as well. Now, you know, this stuff sets it apart from other devices that are out there that are similar to this. Um, so I'm sure that people are going to put down in the comments, you know, oh, there, you can get the such and such device and it looks exactly like that, you know, and I'll just install OSMC by myself and, and, and I'll just do it. Well, you know, sure, but guess what? You don't have... Um, support for three for three years you're missing you know you're missing uh you don't get the remote control you don't get the hdmi cable um let's see you know you you uh let's see what else you don't get the app store you don't get the great community that already is two hundred thousand plus users you know well that's the rasp bmc community but you know, a lot of the people that run that system or setup um, might be switching over to Vero, you know, if they see an advantage in doing that. Um, you know, it comes with, uh, like I said, the three-year guaranteed software updates. It's going to be shipping in early 2015. I've already ordered mine, and he's actually allowed me to share with you guys a discount code. And that discount code... You can see here it should be on the screen. It's going to allow you to get 5% off your order right now, but it's only good until December 15th. You just have to enter 5 off friend as the coupon code when you go to order it. Um, you know, so that's something that I'd like to provide all of you, my viewers, the the ability to save yourself 5% on this thing. So, you know, in a nutshell, that's that's uh, Vero. 
and OSMC. I just wanted to get it out there. The It just was launched two days ago on the 25th. It went live. Um, I'm super excited about it because this thing's going to replace my aging Apple TV. You know, that's 10 plus years old. <clears throat> and I, you know, I can't wait to, to get this thing. And, and I will, you know, you'll, you'll be seeing a, a hands-on review of the Vero and OSMC coming up as soon as I get it. I mean, I, I can't get this thing fast enough. Unfortunately, currently there are no U.S. distributors. So, it, you know, you do have to, it will be coming from the U.K., um, you know, but it is what it is currently. So I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Brand new HTPC coming to the market. And all I can say, you know, right off the bat is the developer of this project, OSMC, and of the hardware is very passionate about it. He, he feels very strongly about this type of, this hardware right here. You know, it's the flagship hardware for OSMC. It's going to basically get, you know, special uh, treatment as far as the support, you know, versus just installing OSMC on any other computer. Um, but, I mean, it's it's crazy. I can't wait to test drive this thing. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a rating. Let me know what you thought of the video, whether you liked it or not. Let me know down below in the comments, you know, if you're currently running an HTPC and, um, you know, what uh, what hardware and what type of OS are you running on your HTPC? And if you're not subscribed, you know, make sure you subscribe so that you know when I get that uh, hands-on Vero review done. Um, and that's about all I got for today. So until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.